Whew, nothing like a little snack to keep you going after a hard day's work at the mine. Let's see, what am I in the mood for? Guess I could go for some cookies. Why not? That always sounds good. Mmm, yum. Delicious. Anything else? Suppose I could go for some not a life flavored cake. Why not? Alright, so hopefully you're at least somewhat intrigued as to how that works. Um, <laughs> so here we have our vending machine, and unlike ones in the past, it was actually made using the piston mod. I seem to be sort of a fan of that, if you can't tell. Anyway, I <laughs> can't wait till it's actually implemented into the vanilla. But as for another day, for now, um, I guess I'll explain how it actually works, starting from where you hit the button. So I'll start off with the bacon, because the bacon actually corresponds to this first car right here. So, when you hit the bacon button, or any of the buttons for that matter, it triggers the redstone on the other side, and it basically just goes on up, and it'll hit the piston. And the piston, even though it's a block above the cart, will actually push the cart, uh, which is very, very handy, because were it down here, it would actually destroy the track, and that would not work. <laughs> so let's hit the button and uh, then we'll watch the next part. So just push the cart out, then it follows this path, and it just drops into the pickup area. Cool. Um, and then you pick up your items. If we want some pork chop, om um, nom nom, I have full health. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then when you hit the cart return, all it does is trigger some redstone that goes under the wall back over to this piston over here, and that pushes it back. Now the first one is easy, because it doesn't have any uh, track switches that you need to go through. However, let's take the second one. For example, I don't know, we want cookies or we want some bread. So if we want some bread, we have to uh, push the switch. The initial part works identically to the other. It has a booster here, however, to uh, keep up the cart's speed so that in the end it doesn't just stall on the edge, it'll always fall into the dispensing area. However, if we want it to push back, uh, you see we have a little bit of an issue here because this track curves inward, and were we to push it in right now, it would actually go back up to where the bacon was. Now we don't want that, clearly. So, that's what these switches are for. So actually the first switch here has no effect, it's just there for aesthetics. However, when we switch this one, excuse me, let me uh, stop the time really quick. When we flip this switch, we can go back over to the track, and you'll notice it's actually done a little switcheroo. So we can go in here, return the cart, and it'll actually skip over to the second one and go right back up to where it was before. Fairly simple. Um, now to actually see how that little section works down there, let me dig ourselves into the underbelly. And it's fairly simple. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of guess and check work because I basically just had to place the repeaters uh, in spots so that it wouldn't carry on over to the next one. So it was a lot of guess and check, not not a super fantastic system. However, when I flip that switch, it brings the current down here, and basically it just applies it to the one switch necessary, and uh, it turns on this redstone torch, which flips the track, and uh, that's basically how it works. Then when I hit the next switch over here, it'll just flip two of them, and so on and so forth. And theoretically, had you the time and space, you could continue this on backwards as long as you wanted it to. Um, so yeah, that's about how it works. Um, want some cookies, want some cake, get ourselves some cookies, <laughs> just for good measure. But uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Let's eat a cookie. Cookies are always good. Yum. Okay. And I'll push the cart back. And uh, off it goes, back to the third one. So yeah, I've actually uploaded the save file to Mediafire, so if you're interested in downloading it, 
and playing around with it, uh, by all means, go ahead and do so. I would love to see your creations and, and what you can do with it. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, uh, it would be awesome if you could take half a second to uh, rate the video. I do really appreciate it. It's very helpful. But other than that, thanks for watching, dudes, and I'll see you next time. Now that looks pretty big. <laughs> I'll probably save that for later. Anything else? Anything else? You know, I've never tried the, the lye flavored cake before. Why not? You only live once, right? Let's give it a try. That doesn't sound good. Oh god. God damn it.